So let's jump in and work with um, Grasshopper. Um, this video is gonna be uh, a bit long, so we are gonna try to cover many different topics. So please check the video description where you will find the different chapters where to, to be redirected. So the way how I like to work is the, by splitting the, the screen in two halves. So the left side is uh, Rhino and then the right side is Grasshopper. Um, this is very handy because then you keep the two windows uh, completely separate. Okay, so inside Grasshopper you find different areas, like for example the menu bars uh, at the very uh, top, uh, then you have the component area, then you have the canvas, uh, and then at the very bottom you have the uh, status bar. saving uh, files uh, then here you can choose um, the zoom uh, percentage so, um, here display your geometries into Rhino uh, in different ways so we are going to have a look more in details um, in, in the next um, uh, videos but um, basically um, here in the canvas what you need to know is that you can pan your your canvas if you middle click in the wheel of your mouse you have uh, also another pop-up window that will show you some uh, important uh, um, or easy selection uh, icons uh, you can make double click on the canvas uh, and then this uh, search engine will uh, pop up uh, where you can just uh, find uh, for example component like a point um, and then you don't really need to go and look for it at the beginning you will not need uh, to do this all the time like double click because probably you will need to to see what uh, which components you have available. So here um, you have many different tabs um, where actually Grasshopper is uh, providing you. Uh, and then if you hover the mouse on top of it, then you will see that uh, some extra information is displayed uh, telling you more in detail of what this component can do. Components and parameters. So let's have a look how the components um, look like more in detail. So basically they are divided, uh, most of them in three parts. So this is the input area. So this is the middle area or where normally the name is displayed. And then you also have the um, output area. Um, you can display the components in different ways. So here in the display uh, menu, you can draw icons or you can also um, leave the text if you prefer. You can also change uh, the name of the component itself uh, without changing its uh, properties. I recommend you to just use the icon because it's more intuitive, much easier to, to find the information. So in the input part, you can change, of course, also the, um, the text of what your input is. you can um, store uh, the information directly from uh, doing right click on top of the um, input parameter and then set number and by default is zero so you can just put a different value for example uh, one two and c is I by changing uh, these values you have seen that the point that was uh, it was changing in its position 
We can also check it by leaving the, uh, the mouse on top of the output uh, uh, parameter and then we can uh, prove that is correct, is one, two, three. So you can also uh, use um, slider um, component. Here, um, this information will replace the information that we were uh, typing before. So it's very important to mention the difference between persistent and volatile data uh, because, uh, for example, what we did here in this po uh, construct point uh, component, it was to store the information inside of the component itself. But if you want to um, link geometries from uh, Rhino environment into a component, so let's do it. Um, right click on the component, then set one point and then you can just select the point. So right now, this point is linked to the component, but since um, Rhino geometry and Grasshopper definition are saved separately, then it's very important to embed the information that was drawn in the Rhino geometry into the Grasshopper file. So for this, you need to uh, internalize data. So by internalizing data, now it means that you can delete the geometry drawn in the uh, Rhino space and you can save um, your Grasshopper file uh, completely independent from, from Rhino. Component color code. There are three possible uh, color states in your components. Uh, the first one is orange, the second is gray, and the third one is red. Orange stands for warning. Algorithms with warnings may still function, but you need to check why you are getting a warning. So here you can check that there is just um, a floating parameter fail to collect data. This is just because it doesn't contain any data and it's asking for it. Um, the second one, the gray, everything is correct. There is no warnings or error. And the red one is uh, an error. So there is a mismatch in the type of data expected. So here um, it says that data conversion fail from text to point. So the information that we are trying to uh, feed in as an input is in the format of a string uh, so this is a text and this component is just a point component and it doesn't understand what this text is, is saying so it's just complaining about the uh, formatting of the information display uh, possibilities for fancy uh, wires this will give you more visual information about the, the connections so you will see that um, by activating the fancy wires you will have three different types of, of wires. So one is a um, black line with single uh, information or stream of information. You will have a double line for lists. And if you have uh, something like this, dashed uh, double, um, then you will have a data tree that we will uh, learn more about it in next videos. The preview uh, activated or disactivated. So right now if you select the, this red icon here you will be able to display the information by just previewing the geometry that you draw. So you can just activate it by just clicking in preview and then this information will be always displayed there um, of course if you de disactivate then the information will start to disappear but very interesting is to use the only uh, preview uh, geometry for selected components that means that 
only the components that you select are the ones that are displayed in Rhino uh, space. You can also um, enable or disable the components. So if you um, disable the components, then it will turn completely uh, gray out and this component will not work anymore. So we can also use uh, another very important uh, display mode and this is um, group selection. So you can um, click in the scroll of your mouse and then here you have the shortcut for grouping. You can also select um, your components and in Windows is Control G and it's very interesting because then you can start to organize the definition and group components so here this could be my group one and then you can use group two able to change for example the color you can very easily delete and you can also include uh, other components like by selecting them and then add to group if you press alt then you will be able to separate components so if you have a lot of components in your canvas and you just want to make a little bit of space to introduce some other uh, new ones at the same time, if you want to duplicate a uh, component, you can also click on this component and then again Alt. And you can drag your component out, saving and baking geometry. So once you want to save your file in Grasshopper, just need to come to File and then you can Save Document or Save Document As. And here we can just type a new name and dot um, gh is the default format in grasshopper so here um, since dot gh uh, files are encoded in binary they are smaller and the computer can read them more quickly so we can just leave it in this format and we can just save it as as it is so Grasshopper files can be only read by Grasshopper. So in order to be able to open it with other softwares, uh, like for example Rhino, you will need to bake them. So in order to, to bake geometry, just need to select the component and then uh, bake. Um, here uh, you will need to select some attributes, like for example, if you wanna um, bake it in a specific layer, or for example if you want to group them all together if you have different geometries in in one uh, same component so once we click ok then this geometry uh, that was non-existing in rhino it just turned as a physical element and this geometry can be just saved as a normal file and um, you can then uh, start to make edits if you want or resize them or just uh, maybe delete some parts so i could do that easily in rhino uh, 